Hey everybody, welcome back to Starfield. We are going to uh, cross the system here and pay a quick visit to Gagarin, which is the location where Barrett's lawyer contact is holed up apparently. Uh, let's head on over to here and see what we can find. We've heard a couple of bits and bobs about Gagarin in the past, I think, mainly through just NPCs chattering away, but Irvin's old lawyer is supposed to be on the planet here somewhere. Prepare to be scanned for contraband. Let's see where we can actually land first of all. Let's see, there's a tracking station there. And we're done. Welcome to Gagarin. There's a tracking station and Gagarin landing. I would imagine it's Gagarin landing that we're actually uh, headed for. Yeah, here we go. Take Barrett to Gagarin. Let's set that as our target and touch down. So this is the... I think this is the first other planet in the Alpha Centauri system that we've actually visited so far. Let's touch down and have a oh, look in there. Oh. Oh, it's a bit of a... a bit of a murky place, isn't it? Stark contrast to New Atlantis. And of course we've landed at night as well, just to make it even more moody. Okay, so... Let's see, who should I take with me on this trip? Eeny, meeny, my... Okay, come on then, Barrett, we're here. Oh, uh, I think he might have had some more information. Yes, Captain? Let's see, I think there was uh, a couple of things maybe left under the personal questions mm -hmm. list. Go on, I'm all ears. Yeah, here we go. So, uh, let's discuss Irvin's legal case, seeing as we're here to hopefully make some progress on that. Oh, uh... I oh. hope the lawyer on Gagarin has time to review the case before we arrive. Right, I think those two uh, topics that were actually highlighted just led to questions that we've already asked. Okay, get yourself suited up, Barrett. We're heading out. In fact, what is the atmosphere out there? Um, 20% O2. Might be breathable, actually. I hope you're having a good day. Gagarin <laughs> has always been a bit of a pit in my stomach. I know it wasn't related to Irvin's death, but it happened right before he died. So the events were both emotionally linked to me. Hmm. Yeah, I can understand that. Hi. <laughs> Please disregard. I attempted an informal greeting. Don't worry yourself, Fasco. You just keep practicing. Okay. So... I mean, it's really misty here, isn't it? That looks like some sort of warehouse. That's not what we want. This is some sort of facility by the looks of it. it looks like we've got something over here as well. Uh, that, what have we got? Uh, no, didn't want that. <laughs> Hold on. Something, something medical over there. So I'm wondering if that's the main, the main sort of settlement here. I'm intrigued. Oh, this is another ship. Oh, it's another, it's a landing pad. <laughs> Ship's so big, I thought it was another building. Uh, let's visit ship services quickly, actually. Welcome to Gagarin. Your ship needs fuel? Repairs? You should inspect your ship for heat leeches every couple landings. They'll cause plenty of havoc if left unchecked. Do you know the guy at the spaceport on New Atlantis by any chance? Sounds remarkably like you. Right, let's get my ship repaired. Looks to me like you're already in pretty good shape. Oh. Oh, of course I used a ship kit, didn't I? Never mind, Next ignore me. This is dead industry, Chief Pretorius. Those jobs aren't coming back. But Reliant Medical, Archimite, and Satori Mills are dedicated to Gagarin. We were just hoping Gagarin could show the same dedication in return. Ark might. I'm not closing off the oh. city every time you want to run a tour group through here. Our investor visits are the key to making Gagarin a place that works again. A place where <laughs> people want to live again. People are living here just fine. What? Now, if you'll excuse me, I have security work to get back to. I'm sorry, what? Who's doing the talking? Right, um, interestingly, the guy here said mech production isn't coming sorry, back. But if this isn't directly related to Reliant Medical Business, you should really schedule an appointment. Okay, so he's Reliant Medical. Sorry, can I Apparently just pick your brains? Apparently the execs are talking about building their own priority catwalks above the city. You been up there? <laughs> Good luck. Priority catwalks? Okay. I'm sure we'll catch up with that woman sooner or later, but uh, was kind of intrigued about the whole mech production thing. Maybe this used to be... Uh, although, no, this is in UC space, so this wouldn't be a mech production place, would it? 
Hello. Sometimes I hide outside the door to Lizzie's bar. So many swear words. Lizzie's bar? Well, I'm not surprised. That's in a nasty city far, far away. That's kind of confusing. Anyway, uh, UC security office. Might as well check in and see if I can try to work out where the hell that voice was coming from. Um, uh, is it... Was it you? Were you the one that was talking through a, a divider and a wall and a closed door to those people? Yeah, Chief Delito Pretorius. That name was mentioned. Ah, oh, tell me you're here to just report a good old-fashioned crime. If I have to deal with one more corporate exec begging for special treatment, I'll eat my badge. Uh, no, no, don't worry. Keep your badge on your chest. You're fine. Um, nothing to report. Just getting to know the area. Looking for new crimes to investigate. I'm happy to oblige. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> oblige digging up where the crimes are or committing the crimes. Got no argument from me. Um, yeah, what's this about corporate execs? Oh, you haven't heard? Gagarin's going to be the next new Atlantis. Or so we've all been told. Centauri Mills, Arkmite, Reliant Medical. They all bought up and renovated derelict buildings here in the city in the past couple years. We needed the jobs to be sure. The garden got hit hard after the mech plants were all shuttered when the colony war ended. But hmm. I'm not sure I've ever met a more entitled group than these executives. Treat the city like an amusement park, and all of us as the amusements. It's kept me and my people plenty busy, just not with actual policing. But uh, I'm sorry, did you actually need to report something? Right, well, that's really confusing. Like I said, this is obviously UC territory. We're in Alpha Centauri. I didn't think the UC used mechs during the um, the Colony War. I thought that was just a Freestar thing. Unless they were starting to produce them, but the war came to an end before they could deploy them. Hmm. Um, yeah, just getting to know the area. <laughs> Guess I'm off the hook then. For now. But look. I'm Security Chief Pretorius. If you do have anything to report, you can speak to me or one of my officers. We're always around. Okay. Uh, thanks for the advice. Is there a lot of crime here? We've had our issues. Some folks aren't thrilled about the corporations moving in. But the majority don't act on it. Those that do, largely keep it civil. Protest, throw some paint, occasional crate wanders off. But we've managed to avoid any open conflict so far. It's really not a bad assignment. Hmm, okay. Uh, have you been here long? Sounds like you, you're you quite invested in the history of this place. Well, I came here right after training, which was ten years ago now. Gagarin was a lot rougher then. People were still reeling from all the plants getting shut down after the war. So there was a lot of petty theft, break-ins. I was responsible for putting together a pretty busy community outreach program. Worked out well enough that they eventually made me chief. Hmm. Okay, anything I should see while I'm here? The garden's not really that sort of burg. Most of the restaurants went belly up when the mech trade shut down. Only one left is Lizzie's. On the other side of town, though it does have a nice view of the square. There's also... A little social club. The local executive set up across from Lizzie's. But it's still pretty light on amenities. Now, if you're just looking to resupply, then you'll want Clint's. Another case of last business standing. But he's got a good selection. And for medical supplies, you'll want Dr. Keala. You can find both of them on the main concourse. Beyond okay. that, we're just corporate offices and private homes. Sounds like this is quite a sprawling location. Um, okay then, Pretorius, thanks very much. Should get back to it anyway. Alright, so we've got a little cell here. Oh, that's the confiscated goods. What seems to be the trouble? So, whenever the Arkmite factory is online, my water gets real spotty. Huh. <laughs> Can I help you, Barrett? That is a problem. You want to start a town hall. They should be able to get you a grievance form. Grievance form? All right, I'll start there. Thanks, officer. Hmm. 
Okay, interesting. So when Ark are operating, it disrupts the local water supply? Hello. I know a guy who just got a job at the Centauri Mills plant. Won't say what they pay, Ooh. but his outfits sure have gotten nicer. Huh. Catch you at Lizzie's later? As soon as my shift's over. Your turn to buy. What? Protecting your precious home from ruffians and vagrants gets me nothing? Hmm. You've seen my place. Vagrants can have it. I'll see you when your shift's done. You see seem fairly friendly with the locals here. What is this? Hello? Reliant medical robot. But if you have any comments about this facility, please leave feedback with the main office. Mm, you bizarre bot. Why do you have a giant disc as a head, dude? Salutations. Please ask the supervisor if you need something. Okay. Um, <laughs> get yourself comfortable there, uh, Baron. The Baron is even worse off now than it was when Urban was here. Have you visited much? Fruency. For kids, we send them back to school. Well, there are children loitering outside my apartment at all hours of the day and night. I want them dealt with. Do you want children? Okay, more pressing matters than uh, true with children. So, let's see, there's an upstairs here. Let's have a little look around. Ah, here we go. Main office. Um. Interesting that somebody's manning the office up here, but not the actual medical part of a medical center. Hello. You're not the usual courier. Please tell me you're his replacement, and that you're just here to pay me a long overdue visit on his behalf. Uh, not quite. Delivery? What are you, you got a missing courier? What am I talking about? I'm talking about someone, anyone, handing over my exceedingly late delivery. Now. Are you my courier's replacement or not? Uh, I think you got me confused with someone else. Yeah, but I mean, I could always go looking for them. You're not the courier. Hmm. Our delivery service doesn't run late like this. Something must have happened. Look, I'm expecting a very important package. Very important. What would you say to tracking it down for me? Quickly. I pay, and I pay well. Hmm. You may very well have my attention. Yeah, I'll take a look for it. Good. Let's get you on your way, then. Well, I didn't necessarily say I was going to look for it straight away, but... Oh, follow Helena. Oh, dear. This is, this is a lot more involved than I thought it was going to be. I thought she might give me some coordinates, maybe a name of a system or a planet. <laughs> Was there really any need to go all the way around there? Akachi Rosenblum, United Transport, Garen Branch. Now, please. Akachi, it's Helena, over at Reliant Medical. Your courier never showed. I need his stops for the day. This is my I don't care voice, Akachi. <laughs> oh, and what's your firm's policy on losing our branch as a client? I thought so. Send it to my personal slate. Thank you, Akachi. Here, all the places our courier might have gotten way late. She mentioned a panel or something that you can plug his ID number into at each delivery point. Oh. They should tell you if he's been there recently. The ID's 8148. 8148. When you do finally okay. track him down, you can tell him you'll be completing delivery. Now go get me my package. Please. Something tells me it's not going to be quite that straightforward, but okay. Um. Looks like we're playing postman at some point, Barrett. But for now, let's press deeper into the Gagarin settlement. See if we can't uh, see if we can't find out where this lawyer might be hiding out. Uh, so what do we have here? Clint collectibles. Okay, Pretorius mentioned uh, something about this place. Wow, quite the uh, classy establishment. You must be Clint. Welcome to Clint's. Whatever you need, I'm sure I've got it lying around somewhere. Except mech parts. Don't trade those anymore, so don't waste your time asking. This place is really tied with mechs, isn't it? Um, yeah, nice to meet you, Clint. Just having a little bit of a nose around. Um, there was something wrong with selling mech parts. Yeah, we already know well about that. If you need anything, just follow the sound of falling inventory. 
<laughs> You'll find me eventually. Uh, what can you tell me about the place? Gagarin. It was a military town until the end of the colony war. Mechs were our specialty. Everyone always blabbers about Mars making the highest performance machines. But if you needed a system that wouldn't let you down in a pinch, you piloted a Gagarin. But that all dried up when the mechs were banned with the armistice. Now, hmm. we've got these new firms coming in. Arkmite, Centauri Mills, claim they're here to revitalize the city. Which is funny, since their employees refuse to step foot in most of it. Hmm. It must be that... Must be that the UC were on the verge of deploy or had started to deploy these mechs and were producing them here. Uh, so what was Gagarin like back when they still made these things? Plenty more competition for stores like mine, that's for sure. UC had a lot more money to throw around in those days. During the war, I couldn't keep the shelves stocked. At first, because of all the demand. But later, because the Freestar Collective flotillas were so damn good at picking off UC merchant craft. Hmm. But the biggest difference now? The quiet. Not just because most of the forges and mines shut down. It was a testing. Firms used to drive their prototype mechs out into the canyons, way beyond the city. But you could still hear the guns all the way from here. It was like, shoo, thunder. So when the thunder stopped, well, so did Gagarin in a way. So I wonder if there's still wrecks of mechs out there at the moment from where they were tested and perhaps some didn't quite make the cut. Kill for that kind of firepower. It's like you miss those days. But the Gagarin has had a chance to become something uh, new now. That seems pretty exciting. Yeah, it sounds like you miss those days. Sounds like, sounds like that really was this place in its heyday. Hard to not be nostalgic for a time when the city was in a better place. Mm. Though, knowing what we do now, with the costs of the war and all, probably better for everyone that Gagarin's moved on. Yep, I'd second that. Um, okay, I'll take a quick look at what you got for sale. May not be the prettiest stock, but you can count on every piece. Not really in the, uh, in the market for anything. Got a marathon there. As if I was seen that before, haven't we? Nova Light? Ah, oh, I think I got rid of one of these. I think I, uh, I think I sold one of these on not too long ago. Should have given it a go before I got rid of it. Beowulf? I mean, that's a modified Grendel, isn't it? Old... Oh, Old Earth Assault Rifle. Well, that's a relic and a half. Right, yeah, nothing particularly interesting by the looks of it. Oh, they've got an Orion. I wonder if this is any good in comparison to the Orion that I've got. Let's quickly equip it and take a look at the comparison. So, where is my Orion? There it is. May not look like much. Plenty on offer. Right, let's see. Uh, that wasn't what I wanted to do. So, uh, the one that we've got equipped is what? On the left. Energy 45, 28. Fire rate's the same. Okay, ours is... Yeah, ours is significantly better. Tactical battery over a small battery and a proper sight. No. We'll leave it, but thanks. Okay. Oh wow, this kind of reminds me of um kind of I reminds me of the Wen, mining anyway. jobs on Mars these days. I could put up with some dust. Well, different dust. Nah, I wouldn't bother if I were you. I've been there. People are getting turned away. Uh, some sort of hardware um warehouse loading area? Oh. That down there. It's a statue of some sort. That's an Ada up at the Vanguard office. She's pretty good. Nearly convinced me to hand out recruitment materials for her. While I was on shift, too. Huh. Venada? The Gagarin? Oh, this, so there's a UC Vanguard recruitment office here? Okay. Ooh, where does this go? This heads up to... What, this upper gantry? What was somebody saying that they wanted to extend the upper gantries and put put special walkways for for a privileged few across Man, the top? Can I use a vacation? Oh, there is much danger. 
What what is What is what is the purpose of this platform? Oh <laughs> Barrett cares not. He's just tossed the danger sign off of the uh, off of the side there. Okay, I need to Oh, this must be the main square, I guess. Somebody's asking a person about a thing. Gagarin was a one Whoop. industry city for a long time. Now we got a little bit of everything. Sorry, I want to eavesdrop this. Down hall. They should be able to get you a grievance form. Grievance form. All right. I'll start there. Thanks, officer. I'm not supposed to run on the walkways anymore. Well, don't do it then. Um, everybody seems to be filling out grievance forms around here. Right, Centauri Mills. So this is one of the the. <laughs> Do you mind? One of the three organizations that moved in and uh, used up some of the old properties. So what? what is Centauri Mills? What are they doing here? Uh, oh, okay. Some sort of processing center by the looks of it. Do you work here? Hello. Lost. The trick to the cat box, just keep turning right. You'll get where you're going eventually. Or was it left? <laughs> Thanks for the tip. What's going on up there? Uh, well, it looks like nobody is around to actually explain to me what the hell Centauri Mills is. Okay, anyway. Head back down. Right, I just saw a line of text from somebody called Lizzie. So that must be Lizzie's bar. Where did I see that person playing with fire? Oh, is this the bar? I wonder if this is Lizzie's. Here we go. Here we are. Safety protocol. Remember to follow all decontamination procedures before exiting this area. Oh, <laughs> why? What am I likely to catch while I'm here? Garen's not an easy place to live. Nice to finally get some new neighbors. Oh, why is everybody talking at the same time? So, are you going to buy it? Only if I take up a life of piracy. Oh, and there's a terror brew Someone over there. Someone painted some choice words on the front of the Archimite factory the other day. Their robots took it down pretty quick, though. Smells like the Centauri Mills plant is making a new test batch of something. Oh, is that what Centauri Mills is? Some sort of, like, chemical development center or something? Right, anyway, are you Lizzie? You are Lizzie. Heat getting to you? I can fix that. Oh yes, I meant to say, the scan did bring back that it's uh, pretty warm here. Uh, so you own the bar? I suppose it's your name above the door. Well, not that you've actually got a door, but you know what I mean. Sure do. I came into some money right around the time the war ended. Places were selling for nothing. Every person with credits was flying to New Atlantis. I got this place for a wink and a nod. Hmm. Have been slinging drinks the way I like them ever since. Nice. You must be doing pretty well for yourself if you're still here. Uh, so what's going on on Gagarin these days? Bunch of corporate marionettes moving in, setting up shop. Hmm. They think we're just a bunch of cheap factories and dumb labor that'll leap at whatever scraps they toss us. But Gagarins are tough by default. We've got exactly zero need of corporate condescension. Yeah, I do get the vibe that people don't like big corp around here. Um, looking for work. Interesting. Uh, <laughs> might as well add to the growing pile of jobs on my list. Lucky you. I've got a little project I could use some help with. You've seen all the neckties and power suits wandering around town? Mm, Feels like two. they're everywhere. And while I like a bunch of stuck-up new Atlantean MBAs defiling my city as much as I enjoy unmedicated dental surgery, <laughs> they've got the credits. So sooner or later, I'm going to need to start serving them, or someone else will. Okay. So what, you banned at the moment? Um, let's just jump to the part where you tell me what it is you want. Sounds like you're trying to justify selling out your ideals. Makes sense to me if not going anywhere. Um, yeah, it sounds Look, like... Look, if you're about to pitch bile, could you take it outside? What are you talking about? We are outside. <laughs> it does kind of sound like you're... You're selling out a little bit? There's this ship whose crew had to ditch mid-flight. I, I presume it's some kind of luxury liner because it's supposedly got an impressive collection of booze on it. Oh. I want you to go to the ship, 
find the best stuff on board and bring it to me. Okay. Anything else on the ship is yours to keep. Plus, I'll throw in some credits for your trouble. All right, I'm not going to lie. This sounds intriguing. Uh, so, where did you get this information? The, the ship's still there? My contact's reliable. More than that, not your job to know. Okay, fair enough. Uh, anything else you can tell me about the ship? Uh, my rumor was light on details. Got to be some kind of lesser luxury craft. Uh, a pleasure yacht or, or the like. Not going to find the sort of beverages I'm after on anything else. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'll give it a go. Exactly what I was hoping to hear. You'll find the ship doing laps around Grissom. And be careful. I'm not paying for broken bottles, okay? Right. A luxury liner orbs in Grissom. Okay, um... Right, Baron, any idea where we might find this lawyer of yours? Let's see. What can I get for you? Shame. Oh, hello. What's that over there? I got hired on the Centauri Mills craft, and I'm looking for something. I'm going to take a quick look in here, and then I'll head downstairs to see what... Oh, good grief. Hello. Uh, oh, wait, you were the one that was talking you're not on when my we walked in. Is this arc might related? Oh, you're I'm on arc Bugarin might. to make money, not friends. We've got another mech around here somewhere? Oh, restricted area. Better not. Uh, yeah, sorry. Tell me about our client. Hmm? Uh, take it you're not originally from here, then. It would make sense, seeing as the company only moved in a couple of years ago. <laughs> what gave it away? I was born in New Atlantis. But the business environment is so stuffy there. Centuries-old firms set in their ways. The Garen is gritty. Exciting. An opportunity for growth. And isn't that what business and life are all about? Yeah, the locals don't seem to agree, but... Um, yeah, I, didn't I see you talking with one of security? Um, yeah, she was talking with Pretorius. Oh, Chief Pretorius? She thinks Gagarin is just peachy being poor and run down. Has no vision. But Arkmite does. Thanks to our investment, the largest formerly shuttered mech plant in the city has been refurbished and is churning out some of the finest heavy equipment in the settled systems. And we're sharing that vision of a revived Gagarin with others. We've been bringing in investors, showing them all the potential of this place. We were only asking the chief to make sure the areas we'd planned to visit didn't have any malcontents running around. Oh, uh, I can see where this is going. Unfortunately, some of the locals don't appreciate all we've done for the city. Yeah, it sounds like a typical corporate mentality, sort of muscle in, impose your vision on the place, and then wonder why nobody's sort of coming and kissing your feet for it. Uh, who can blame them? Seems like you're trying to transform their city out from under them. Yep. Treat them with respect, and I'm sure the locals will come around eventually. If the locals can't see the benefits of businesses coming to down. Yeah, you have kind of, like I say, just sort of come down onto their territory and imposed your vision of what their city should look like. Yes. What a loss for local character that a rotting factory has been made useful again. But I understand it can be hard for some people to come to terms with change, even when it ultimately benefits them. Hmm, again, from your point of view. So what exactly does Arkmite do? Arkmite? We're the galaxy's premier heavy equipment firm. Diggers, construction robotics, that sort of thing. And we're on Gagarin to take advantage of an opportunity. The city's old mech factories have been sitting dormant for years now. But they're open again thanks to us. We've automated the old assembly lines and brought plenty of money to the city in the process. It's a win-win for all involved. I must admit, it does kind of sound beneficial to Gagarin, but yeah, I just don't like the corpo mentality. This has been lovely. Really. I, um... Yeah, likewise, I think. I did kind of think that it might end up with her sending us out to try and clear these places because local security wasn't overly bothered, but, uh... Ooh, hello. What time is it at the moment? Looks like it's, uh... I'm coming up for half past seven in the morning. I was about to say, it's, it's getting a little bit lighter. strongly worded graffiti recently. Guess not everyone's a fan of the new firms coming in. Yeah. That's certainly how it seems. Okay, uh, over here, I could see there was a couple of screens. There's one here and a big screen up there, so maybe... We'll get some sort of local you information about You ever read about, about the on. early history of spaceflight? <laughs> so political. 
so familiar sometimes. Oh, why is that what this is Watch your kind of signifying? And I heard vaguely a threatening. Mines under town. Oh, don't go opening that Pandora's box for me, kid. I don't need to be spending hours exploring old mines. Right, anyway, what have we got? Touch the screen to learn more. This monument is dedicated to the many intrepid explorers who risked their lives so that humanity could one day find a home among the stars. You one of those corporate ah. drones? Gagarin doesn't want you. No, I'm not. <laughs> Leave me be. I'm no more of a fan of them than you are. And then there was another one outside the terror... Oh, no, it's a bloody coffee menu. Okay. Right, where in the world might our lawyer reside? That's still... Hmm, that's interesting. I thought I had changed. I thought I had changed the actual mission that's selected. Let's see. Misconnection, sure that. Breach of contract. Here we go. Oh, t wait, hold on. Talk with Barrett? Oh. Oh, I was supposed to ask Barrett where we're going. Barrett, where are we going? I was just thinking that this is about what Irvin saw all those years ago when he arrived. He probably stood here thinking that he was going to make things better. He had a good heart. Hmm. Poor guy pinned up for something he didn't do. Um, so, yeah, what what's the next move? We need to reopen the case. See if there's anything that was overlooked the first time. We've done some legwork remotely, but we need to do some good old-fashioned investigating now. Ooh. Hopefully it will be enough to clear Irvin's name. So, was the company that he worked for that actually stitched him up, were, were they based on Gagarin as well? Okay, I'm going to take care of it. How many looked different when he was here? Yeah, we, uh, can't imagine the view would fill anyone with hope. Hmm. Yeah, it's not exactly the most uh, cheery of spots, is it? Maybe not in its current form, but I'm sure Irvin painted a much different picture in his mind. I'm thinking something impressionist. Hmm. Softer edges, more plants. I wonder if Ellie has any pictures of old Gagarin in her office. Only one way to find out, right? Absolutely. Uh, so, didn't this lawyer lose the case? You bring everything. Yeah, what can you tell me about Ellie? Ellie Yankton. She worked on Irvin's previous case. Ellie is one of the few lawyers on this planet who's willing to take on the mining corporations in court. Hmm. She lost the case, though, didn't she? Although, I do kind of get the impression that wasn't through sort of her lack of trying. I think that was just the, the corporations squashing the case whilst, uh, um, before she could actually do anything. Yes, but listen, nobody will stand up against the mining corporations around here. They're scared. She didn't want to lose the case, but she didn't have a lot to go on. Thanks to us, now she does. Hmm, and you brought all that evidence with you? I sent that to our lawyer already. I asked her to confidentially review what we found. Okay, let's go speak to her. Right. She said she would meet us at our office when we arrive. Hopefully she can tell us what we need to do in order to clear Irvin's name. Let's stick together, though. Gagarin isn't a huge town, but it's not the kind of town that I want to get lost in. Okay, and her office is this way, apparently? Oh! Perfect. She said she would be expecting us. Wait, wait I'm sorry. Where? <laughs> he yelled it back there. It's like, oh, I see. Yankton Law Offices. Yeah, I suppose that's the giveaway, isn't it? <laughs> he yelled it down there at the, the top of the stairs to the square like he'd found it in front of him. Anyway. Uh, okay. This looks like it's in a certain amount of disarray, but okay, fine. Whoa! <laughs> Bloody hell, Barrett, you don't hang around, do you? Receptionist is taking a day off. Right, I'll shut the door. So we don't be disturbed. Hello! Ooh. <laughs> um, your computer kind of opened. 
rather welcomingly, like it wants me to pry through its emails and private messages, but I'll refrain. Hi, hello, um, crap, I, I can't actually converse with you. Don't, oh, there was a highlight then. Oh, let's just, let's just stand up, why not? Hello, hi, I, God. Well, 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 Barrett, you're actually here. Astounding. Ellie. Ellie, come on. I promised we'd stop by, didn't I? Hmm. People make promises all the time, Barrett. And most folks try to avoid Gagarin, not visit it. Anyway, I'm glad you made it out here. We have work to do, don't we? She seems keen to, uh, to help us out. So, you handled Irvin's case years ago? Yes. It was my first case as a bright-eyed, optimistic lawyer. Well, starting your career with a defeat is rough, Ellie. <sighs> it was. But in a way, it made me more determined. Hmm. Um, so have there been any other case? Oh, that's an interesting question. Have there been cases like this before against big mining corps where they seem to be the scapegoat? Not exactly, but similar cases. A corporation commits a crime and needs a scapegoat, so they select someone powerless to target. Hmm. The quintessential Gagarin tale. Indeed. And you were saying people avoid coming here? It's not a resort. It's a working town run by mining corporations. You don't come here unless you need to, and you don't stay unless you have to. Or unless you're a bright-eyed, optimistic lawyer who genuinely wants to make things better for others. Right, Ellie? <laughs> you're kind, Barrett. Yes, I suppose there's that type of person as well. Hmm. I was going to say, why are you still here, then? Okay, let's get down to brass tacks, as nobody says anymore. Let's discuss the case. Down to business. Perfect. What do you already know? So we already know that Irvin worked for Hephaestus Mining Company years ago. Hephaestus, that's and it. And they blamed him for catastrophic economic and ecological issues here in Gagarin. Yes. He lost his case because he didn't defend himself, and we had almost no evidence without him. Hmm. Uh, why didn't Irvin defend himself? I recall receiving a message asking him to appear in court a day after his funeral. An unfortunate oh. reality of interplanetary legal communiques, I'm afraid. Wow, that's... <laughs> okay, that's unfortunate. So what was the final judgment, although I think we've covered that already? He was publicly blamed for the economic woes and his accounts were seized in compensation. His account on Gagarin specifically. It was just the amount he was paid years ago for the job. Right. They would have taken his assets and other settlements, but by law, his death prevented it. Hmm. We need to clear his name. Well, we can bring the case to a judge here if we have new evidence or a witness. What about the evidence we found so far? Yes, well, about that. Oh, that doesn't sound good. It's just not enough. Hmm. Okay. <sighs> Rubbish. So Barrett's contact that originally went digging around and then the, um, the, the cyber hacker that pulled out all the evidence is still not enough? Nothing we found is good enough. What happens if we take the court case to court with more evidence? Um, she did mention witnesses as well. There was that one witness who was essentially scared into, into staying quiet and who pulled out of, uh, of supplying evidence at the last moment. I wonder if we can... Find that person if they're still around. So what happens if we take the court, uh, the case to court with more evidence? Best case scenario, we clear his name and his assets are returned, plus additional compensation. Okay, but nothing we found is good enough. Not on its own, no. It's circumstantial. Helpful to support our claim, but not enough. Hmm, okay. We'll have to find more then. In order for me to go before a judge, I'd like to have some solid evidence pertaining to motive. Right. Uh, why do we need to establish a motive? The courts won't entertain a challenge to its ruling unless we're sure that something major was missed in the original trial. What was the motive from the original trial? 
We had no solid motive after our witness withdrew his testimony. Hmm. Yeah, we don't have any other evidence at the moment. Yeah, we need something major. Documentation, recordings, a witness. Witness. Something. It's been so long. How could we find anything like that? I've thought about this a lot since the original case. Oh, what about Irvin's apartment? The mine that Irvin worked at was shuttered in 2309. They probably still have documents relating to whatever happened there with him. Oh, so we go rooting through the old mine? Yes, please. Uh, wouldn't Hephaestus have destroyed the incriminating documents? That's a fair point. Not necessarily. To Hephaestus, it might be cheaper to run away and let the dust bury it all. Okay. Uh, Barrett, do you remember the exact mine? Not really. All I know is that it's a Hephaestus mine from 20 years ago, somewhere on Gagarin. I don't have a couple decades to wait for you to search them all, so we'll need to narrow it down. Hmm, how are we going to go about doing that? Okay, um, if you could help us in that regard in any way? That's where you come in. I don't know which mine he worked at when the incident took place. Hmm. In theory, you could find that information on a foundry terminal. If you can access it, oh. you'll need a passcode. That's the hard part. Besides the foundry records, there also might be something in Irvin's apartment. Uh -huh. If he knew he was being framed, he might have held on to some documents there. Okay, find Irvin's apartment, talk with the lawyer. Oh, geology. Hello, geology skills coming into play. Mining companies used to leave a lot behind when they shut in a mine. Let's search the apartment. Might have documents. I used to work for Argos Extractors Offworld. Maybe I can log into the foundry system. Would I have had clearance for that, though? I was, after all, just a Dusty. Although maybe Lynn. I wonder if Lynn would have access. What kind of incriminating documents are we talking about? Uh, <laughs> Barrett, this is your investigation, handsome. Thoughts? Hmm, lay it on thick enough. That seems a little bit... I mean, I, I can understand if you'd flirted with Barrett before this point, that would kind of make sense. But if you chose to jump into okay. flirting with... Okay, continue. One moment, talking about flirting. Uh, flirting with Barrett at this point, whilst we're in the middle of an investigation about his dead husband, that seems kind of disrespectful. Anyway. Uh, mm -mm -mm. Let's try the geology option. Even the confidential records and salvageable equipment? Seems wasteful. It was probably cheaper than transporting older machines around the planet. Makes sense. Not many people wander around outside of the city looking for abandoned mines. So a lot of it can be preserved. Why lock your door when you're the only person on the planet, right? Anyway, try to log into the foundry system or convince someone to find Irvin's mine for you. Sounds like an awkward conversation. Fortunately, the captain is rather good at those. <laughs> well, thank you. Hopefully, that's enough to work with for now. If you'll excuse me, I have to get some court documents ready for this case. The Foundry District isn't too far from here. Right, well, let's head that way. Uh, thank you very much for your time. Um, wait, hold on. <laughs> the captain's good with awkward arguments. Did, did you mean that as a, like, a positive thing? Getting myself out of awkward arguments? Or am I the one that starts the awkward arguments? Possibly best I don't press too deeply on that. Right, okay. Uh, let's head back on out to Gagarin Landing. So we can either head to the Foundry District. Oh, hello. Got something for me? I should still have a key to Irvin's apartment. I hope it's worth our time, but I can't be sure. Yeah, I was going to say, I really do want to go and check out the apartment, actually, before we head over to the Foundry uh, District. But, um, yeah, you, you said you had something. <laughs> What's the betting is another sandwich? Thought you'd never ask. Here, all yours. <laughs> Alien stew. <laughs> Thanks for that. Okay, let's see if we can track down this apartment. So, where are we actually being directed to? This is one thing that I'm still not completely clear on in this game, is how you discern which objective you're currently being pointed towards. So let's see, one points down that... In fact, they both point down that way. Hmm. Let's follow this marker for now. See where it leads us. You want to go take a look? Depends. 
Is new shipment coming from Sidonia or New Atlantis? Sidonia. Pass. All the stuff <laughs> they ship in from Sidonia tastes like dust. It's vacuum sealed. <laughs> hey, more dust for All of that. <laughs> more dust for you. All of it tastes like dust. As opposed to all the stuff from here that supposedly also tastes like dust. But it's a much more flavorsome dust. Ah. See if you can log in with your Argos extractor account. Can't um, believe my break is almost over already. Sucks to be you, sir. Sucks to be you. So this is this is the Foundry District. Really? It's a bit of a grand name for <laughs> a loading platform. End of the colony war hit Gagarin high. City's just finally getting back on its feet. Oh, hello, what's this? Crix's journal entry. Crew and companions permanently do 5% more weapon damage on top of any other bonuses. Oh, cool. Nice. I wasn't expecting to find something like that here. Um, so this is what? A foundry? You can't go in there by the looks of it. Here's the terminal. Thing is, if I explore the terminal and find what I'm looking for, does that then take uh, Irvin's apartment off of the uh, off the table? Welcome to Mandela Foundry and Mines News. Now supporting all mining corporations operating on Gagarin. Uh, right, let's see if we can log in on Ash's account. I doubt this is going to get us much access, though. Uh, get a passcode from an employee. Okay. View my assignments. Foundry does not support Argos Extractor resources. Search database. Yeah. We're not getting... Oh, wait, hold on. View my paychecks. Pending paychecks. One... Uh <laughs> Okay. I guess I actually picked up that pocket full of creds that Lynn mentioned all those many weeks ago. Okay. Reported incident. Your reports help keep us all safe. Please submit your reports so we can investigate them and improve our workplace. <laughs> Contact an administrator. Okay. Right, we're not getting anywhere through my login. Now like I said, we could go ahead and um. Oh man, I wish there was a way to actually switch just the objectives. Right, we do at least have that little um, the little blue diamond marker on our chrono mark. So at least I can try and follow that to uh, to his apartment. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. This looks like a little residential stack. Uh, so we're being pointed in roughly that direction. Let's see, is this is this an apartment? Well, this is it. Oh. Old apartment. Here. Use this key. Okay, I will if you actually come up and hand it to me. <laughs> Enter Irvin's apartment. Okay, let's see what oh, we can I find. Why he wanted me to look after his plant. No windows. Insufficient power for proper lamps. Ew. No wonder he wrote so much. Yeah. Wait a second. What about this safe? I bet it's locked by a terminal. Oh, you reckon so, do you? Well, one way or another, I'll find a way into it. This, oh dear. I mean, it's kind of interesting that this place is still... What are you doing? Are you trying to whisper to it to get it open? Kind of interesting that this is, um... What's it? Nothing still empty and nobody actually moved in and took it over or was that part of that might have been part of a previous con why have i got an elevator that's intriguing uh that might have been part of a, a, pre a prior conversation maybe that um the uh the apartment as an asset was kind of frozen we've got a novice lock there do i do i really want to be picking the locks on irvin's old uh storage yeah, why not? Um, expert, right. So do we have anything that is exclusive to any one ring? This one's exclusive to the center one. Let's see. That would go... Uh, wait, does this even fit anywhere? No, I'm not... Oh, yeah, there we go. It does. Do we have a single one? We do. Okay. So the bottom one and one of the two single pips will be on the middle ring. So let's take a look. 
Let's take a little looky here. Uh, that. We can go there and we can use the other single one. Then on the next row, two kind of close together. No, that's not going to fit there. Would it fit there? It will not. Uh, nope. No, that doesn't fit either. This one? Uh, no, that doesn't fit either. Hmm, okay. Those two, ah, those two, that one and that one will fit into the second ring. Oh, we've, wait, we've got it, haven't we? Nice, okay. So, uh, that, no, that, no. <laughs> what did I have on the outer ring? Crap, what did I have on the outer ring? Uh, did I line up? Oh, I didn't line up anything on the outer ring. Um, right, I'm getting myself all confuzzled. No. No, not you. Wait, wasn't it? Oh, I know. Uh, sorry, I'm being awfully silly. That and one of the single ones, wasn't it? There we go. Then next, we had that one and... Uh, wait, where was it? Oh no, have I stuffed this up? I think I might have stuffed it up. I think I might have screwed myself. Okay, let's... Um... Can we auto-slot? Yeah, I've definitely stuffed myself because there's only one that is applicable now to the outer ring. Rubbish. Okay, I'm going to have to undo and undo again. Again. Okay. So let's see. That one is used on the second ring. So that's out of bounds for us. Right. Okay. So let's try again. Uh, that one. And that one. That one being used there along with this one. Here we go. We're getting somewhere now. Uh, that one and the remaining single. There we go. Oh, we got there in the end. Was that actually worth... Oh, hello. Irvin's Foundry. Oh, we got Irvin's Foundry passcode. Nice. So we can use that in the in the terminal. Oh, cool. So we can take both routes, essentially. Oh, no. There's another one. <laughs> another lot. At least this one's a novice one. Um, right. Any used exclusively? No. Okay. Uh, that. No, that's not going to work. That with that, uh, that. Oh, have I stuffed myself again? Oh, unreal. I'm not doing well on these today. Okay, so <laughs> let's take another look. Not that. Maybe that. And that. That works. That one. That one. Yay! Urban Eagle, meal pack. Okay, we'll take all that lot. Beautiful. Got there eventually. Where does this elevator go? Oh, fine. Come on. Oop. Floor is inaccessible. All right. I take it this is supposed to lead to the lower floor? Find anything helpful to the case? Okay. Uh, well, actually, yes, I've got an access code. Uh, I'm going to have to go and see what that nets us shortly. Hmm. Okay, let's take a look. Uh, unlock requires computer. How did you tell that from that distance? It looks exactly the same as every other safe we've ever encountered. Uh, little kitchenette. Okay, grubby as all hell, but... We can kind of uh, we can kind of forgive that, seeing the place has been abandoned for two decades. Anything? No. So where's this computer? Well, Aha! <laughs> if you ever doubted Irvin's genius, look at all this. Still chugging along twenty years later. Oh wait, there's there are plants growing. 
an alien cactus. What was he actually doing in here? Oh, was he was he a biologist? Is that what uh, is that what Barrett said? Hmm. Okay. Anyway, let's uh, let's take a little look on his terminal. What do we have? Reminders. Finalize apartment purchase. Send an anniversary gift to Barrett, and meet new co-workers at the bar. New co-workers. Oh, is that when he just started working for Hephaestus? Well, that's sad. Private messages. Ooh, hello. This is a new interface. Your work contract. Irvin Madani. You'll receive a mine assignment and your foundry passcode soon. We've got one or two of those. Um, the mine assignment is specified in the contract and the key allows you to access foundry computers for additional information about your particular assignment. We look forward to working with you. Natalena Hortono. Her face is HR. Application for a hunting license. Uh, oh, go to the town hall. Application submitted to town hall. ID ERV291. Check application status at town hall. Welcome to the team. Irvin, we have to talk. It's about the job. If you can, please reach out to me before you start the job. HH. HH was... Okay, not that Natalina. Assignment. Terminate Alpha Predator near the assigned mine for Hephaestus Mining Corp. Oh, that's what the hunting license was for then. This is a highly intelligent Alpha Predator that seems to have recently emerged near the newest Hephaestus mine. Contact. I've been uh, assigned to work with Dr. Helgi Hawkson. That's the one that wanted to speak to him to uncover why the creature is so aggressive and whether it has anything to do with the mine's activity in the area. Right. I miss you. Oh, it's from Barrett. Sweetheart, I know this is going to be a long job on Gagarin, so I thought I'd send you some flowers to cheer you up. I know how much you like the ones that aren't cut, and I found someone uh, someone there who had a live plant. Ta-da! Uh, don't worry about me. Arja's got me on a new assignment uh, already with Sarah. That's Arja Mamasa, isn't it? We still need to go and take Sarah to see Arja. That'll keep me busy until you return home. Missing you always, Barrett. Oh, Hack advanced lock. Okay. Uh, let's see, any exclusives? That's exclusive to the middle ring. So let's see, you go there, which will pair you with that. So keep those two for the middle ring. That's nothing. Maybe that and... No. No, that doesn't work. Uh, right, so let's try that and... That, yeah, that works. Nice. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Will you look at that? Yes, I will. We go to town hall, and I bet we can get a copy of that hunting license. Oh, I thought you were talking about the safe. Huh, never mind. Right, what have we got? Oh, Irvin Madani's contract. So that should say exactly where this mine is. Uh, credits, case of shotgun shell. Tell you what I'm going to do is... Actually, it doesn't matter. Uh, wait, hold on. Is that Irvin's employment contract? Yes, it is. Let me see. Hold on. I'm having a Snoopy first. Let's see. Uh, right, Irvin's contract, Irvin Madani. Okay, employee 2837, Irvin Madani. Uh, contract specific task at mine H363. Payment deposited in account specified by employee. No idea where mine H363 is, but we could search for it at the Foundry database. Sounds suspiciously like a plan. Now, can I take this elevator where I want to go? Oh, rubbish. Come on, then. Okay, let's head back to the Foundry um, District. Uh, if I can remember exactly where it was. was Oh, it was over that end, wasn't it? Take the shortcut. My time is on. Your time's very valuable. Got it. That must be why you're standing outside the door of your office staring into space. Don't worry, you lot. Don't need to chat to you. Security is usually good about keeping out strays, but keep your eyes open at night for dust devils and prong wings, okay? Dust devils and prong wings. They don't sound particularly friendly. Okay. Irvin Madani. Right. Although, why would he still have an active logging? It doesn't matter. View my assignments. Displaying most recent assignment. Uh, okay, mine H363 shuttered. Download coordinates. Oh, you absolute beauty. Um, there, that's fine. 
Okay, this is all Varant. Got it. Search database. Supporting Hephaestus Mining Corporation, Six Sisters Mining, and Mandala Mining Corporation. Mines listed by registration date. Uh, acceptable for filters. Yabba yabbity. Interactive. Enter query. Filter. Mines. Okay, displaying the first five matches. Uh, H395S. So the S and the M and the H must be the company, I guess. 393 was on there. Hephaestus. Year 2309. Uh, displaying all matches. Inactive. 363. There it is. Okay, displaying all matches. H363. Download coordinates. <laughs> Again. View my paychecks. Uh, account has an outstanding balance or fine owed to Hephaestus Mining Corporation. Must be paid in full to collect any paychecks. Not enough credits. Oh, God. <laughs> so this... Would this actually give us the option to pay off um, Irvin's outstanding fine as dictated by Hephaestus? But we don't have enough. Okay, I shall politely decline to pay. And uh, report an incident. <laughs> Contact administrator. Oh, Barrett. Tell you what. Before I talk to Barrett, I'm going to... Wait, hold on. Is it night time already? No way. 20 past 5 local time. The days are short here. Right, uh, let's go and find this town hall. Logic would dictate it's probably somewhere just off of this central square, but um, I don't believe... I, <laughs> I don't believe I've seen the town hall anywhere. Wherever could it be? Right, okay, fine. Yeah. Stop messing around. This town hall has seen better days. Hopefully that public access... We live in hope. You've been to Clint's recently? You get crushed under all that crap yet? <laughs> How funny that everybody around here, including Clint, agrees that Clint's is an absolute crap hole. Okay, public access terminal. Gagarin Town Hall currently closed for renovations. Reopening date, TBD. Applications. Uh, available civilian applications. Mining permit. Oh, we need to check application status. Let's have a look. Contractor license. Your Argos extractor permit is still valid. You do not need to apply again until it expires. Oh, so we could do some mining around here. Very cool. Okay, look. Uh, here we go. Irvin's application ID. Nice. <gasps> Deliver evidence to the lawyer. Awesome. Hunting license for Irvin Madani. Uh, sponsor, if applicable, Hephaestus Mining Corporation. Date effective. 61... Uh, well, I suppose that's 16, isn't it? 2309. Approved. Awesome stuff. File a complaint. Sorry, complaints inbox is at capacity. Please try again later. So, hmm, the hunting license was sponsored by Hephaestus after all. Indeed it was. We will be very interested to see this. Along with the rest of the stuff we've collected. So, uh, you wanted to discuss this, quite rightly too. Coordinates look valid to me. Imagine Irvin thinking the same thing all those years ago. Just a job, right? Well, at least we know where to keep looking, right? Hmm. I'm thinking, actually, we should probably go and visit the mine to see what we can dig up before we go and see Ellie. I'm wondering if maybe that's the kind of like a point of no return if we speak to her first. Uh, let's go search the abandoned mine. What are we looking for? We should hire somebody to go out there for... What? What talk sort of talk is that? No, we're heading out there now. So, um, what exactly are we looking for? Presumably documents? Did you get the assessment back on your apartment? Might I did. Good. We're having a conversation Dad over here. It's worth double what Essentially, any documentation that screams so Irvin isn't mind. guilty, we made it up. <laughs> I'll look for those exact words. Right, let's go search. I guess we'll see what state the mine is in. It's possible they collapsed it before they left. We just won't know until we get there. Mm -hmm. If that's the case, we'll just have to figure something out. Right, let's get going. I'm really, really excited to find out where this... Uh, where this takes us. So, I've now got to try and work out the way back to the ship. Bit of a rabbit warren around here. Wait, was this... Was this it? Oh. Looks like... You heading outside the city? Be careful. If the heat doesn't kill you, the critters might. Yeah, I've heard worrying things about these uh, critters. Okay. Let's go. Captain. Hop aboard. We're going mining. Say your last goodbyes. Richard. 
is firing. Orbit stabilized. All right, where is this mine? Let's see. Dad, have you ever station. tried Aurora? Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, well, yeah, I, not, not in a long time, sweetheart. Not since you were born. What was it like? Terrible, <laughs> terrible. It was terrible. You stay away from that stuff, Cora. Trust me, <laughs> it's the worst. You better listen to your old pops, Cora. It's, uh, in fact, Ash has never had it, so maybe we should make a beeline for wherever sells that stuff next time we're on Neon. But for now, back to the old shuttered Hephaestus mine. Let's see what we can find. Let's see if we can get something here that could clear his name. That couple with the Careful. hunting license and this place was shuttered 20 years ago. But it might have new tenants now. I suppose Barrett's right. I hadn't actually thought of that. Okay, let's just head straight outside. See what's awaiting us. Ooh, floaty bobs. A herding coral bucket filterer. Whoa. Am I going crazy? Oh, I could have sworn I could hear voices. Definitely nobody out there, right? No, okay. Uh, hello, adult pest. If <laughs> that sounds all sorts of wrong. Uh. Well, this isn't gonna last long. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, these things are a bit tasty. They, they're strong. Oh, oh, thanks, Vasco. Those things are strong, right? Let's get some uh, some proper firepower out here. What the heck are those things? Yeah, yeah, all good. Eee, they are ugly things. Yikes, look at those. Is it, are these each heads? Does he, oh, he's got, a, ugh, he's got an ugly mouth there. Right, what have we got? A structural carapace and... Uh, did you get that particular piece that, yes, that right there? Excellent. <laughs> I'm glad that meets your approval. Thanks, Barrett. Right, let's get what other nonsense we can actually pick up from these things. Oh, here we go. Alright, that mine has got credits. So, are these the creatures that Hephaestus said that uh, Irvin had disturbed and that went on a rampage and tore through the entire operation? Alright. Uh oh. Here. Is this openable? No, it doesn't look like it. I think I can hear another one of those things somewhere. Looks like the coast might be clear for now. Nothing in there. Right, there's another little shack set up here. Oh, hello. Little outpost. We'll check that out in a second. Oh, God. Another dead miner. Okay. Have a look in here. Ooh. Advanced lock on this one. Let's see. Um, mm -mm, that one is just inner. So we can couple that with that one. So that one and that one. So let's see. Can any of these take out the outer ring? Uh, yes, I think they can. I think that and that coupled with that and that. Beautiful stuff. Ooh, power still on in here. Interesting. Ooh, we've got a data slate. What's on this? To Thomas. Thomas, it is with great sadness I must inform you of your wife's passing. 
While tapping a particularly fruitful vein, a seismic event occurred that collapsed the area of your, the mine your wife and many others were working in. She died instantly and was in no pain. <gasps> I don't like the sound of this. She was a great worker and we will miss her dearly. We're continuing to dig in, uh, dig in her and others' honour. I'm keeping you in my thoughts during this difficult time. Best foreman, Noel Shulman. So, there was a big cave-in. This, Thomas's wife died, and they thought the best thing to do is to continue mining and making profit for the company. In their honour, of course. Mm, don't buy it. What have we got? Uh, a rip well, hello? What is that? Legendary pistol worth 15,000 credits. Razorback. Nice. That's some other biddies and bobbies. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello. Don't mind if I do. Pick up a couple of digi picks. That makes up for the few that I wasted uh, on that other lock. Solstice and a cartridge. What's that? Regular notepad. Okay. Uh, in fact, let's. Creature jam! <laughs> um, 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 um. Right. Out we go. Anything around here? Ooh, things? No, just tools. Yeah, nothing of interest. Right, let's see if we can't get into this... Uh... Barrett, do you mind? Let's see if we can't get into this main building. So there's no entrance around there. Oh, here we go. Yeah, here we are, up this ramp. Hello, pest. Let me show you slimy, spindly face. Nice. How can you tell from back there? Whoa, that thing's huge. All right, uh, we've got a dead body over there in some sort of rest area. That's a bunk room. Uh, right, let's start from the right and work our way around. Oh. Any clues? Anything here? Um, right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop picking up weapons, I think, for now, because <laughs> I've got quite enough, and I don't seem to be able to actually sell them fast enough to keep my inventory clear. Um, cutter, lead... Whoa! Oh, hello! Where did you come from? Dirty dog. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. I just noticed my ammo count. Oh, that's not good. Um, right, I'm going to have to switch to something else. Uh, I really need to get uh, purchasing some ammo when I can. Uh, Kraken? Yeah, I suppose it's going to have to do. Pop that away. So what have we got here? Comms building key. That'll do. And a chunks cheesesteak. On the board. Probably only 20 years old. Alright, what do we got here? Little kitchen area by the looks of it. Alright, fabricators. Lovely, lovely. Food and stuff and things and stuff and food. Oven mitt. Toast. Alright, nothing. Oh, hello. Meds. Sparkling water. It'll do. Okay, nothing else of interest. Oh dear. Who is this? Miner, deep bore. What's that? Pack. Right, nothing too interesting. I want information. I want shards. Give me data slates. Alright. Oh, hello. Thing. What's that? Oh, a personal groomer. Okay. Okay. Nothing around the beds by the looks of it. I suppose if I'm going to... Oh, bless. I suppose if I'm going to find anything anywhere, it's going to be... Oh, where did I... Oh, okay. I didn't even realise I walked into a separate area. It's going to be in an office of some description, isn't it? Uh, nothing there, nothing, nothing, nothing. And showers. What's that? Another personal groomer. 
Right, come on then, Barrett. Let's press a little bit deeper. I think this is where we're going to find the juicy stuff. There we've got oh, more bodies. That's some sort of look, promising. Looks like administration. Company records. Hmm. Bingo. Okay, and a terminal. There seems to be problems with NPCs actually being in the right place when they they come out with uh, when they come out with certain lines by the looks of it. Is slightly curious. Right, what's on this here? Terminal. Hephaestus mining computer. Ooh. Right, mine status. Approved. <laughs> okay. Oh, decommissioned on it. Okay. Employees. Oh, interesting. There's only two records. Helgi Hawkson. That's the one that wanted a word with Irvin. Contract long term. Uh, conducting an environmental impact study, which is incorporated in several upcoming land acquisition bids. Uh, workstation Cavern Central Chamber. Oh, is there another location we're going to have to explore? Irvin Madani. Terminate local predator. Uh, assist Dr. Helgi with environmental impact study. Cavern Lab. Oh, nuts. Memos. Oh, wow, hold on. Uh, which way is this going? Right, these are the oldest ones. Oh, there's loads. So it runs. These notes run from mine commissioning right through to decommissioning. Okay, so 25th of June 2308. Mine commissioned. Mine H363 has been commissioned for the standard two-year contract or until the extraction is complete. Oh, why bounce me up to the top every time? Welcome, Dr. Hawkson. Dr. Helgi Hawkson has been assigned to the current Hephaestus Mines to evaluate the situation with the subsurface bacteria. He has full authority to conduct any experiments needed. Okay, so Hawkson was basically given the key to the entire place. Um, December 2308, extraction phase two. Exactly on time, six months to phase two. We have penetrated the subsurface layers of slime and biomass below the top layers of materials and have full local access. Gases are escaping through the bacterial layers at a rate higher than the previous mines in this biome, but that has assisted in reducing the amount of biomass Hawkson is investigating. So, there's a layer of biomass underneath the topsoil that was, what, keeping gases at bay? Dead wildlife. Oh, here we go. So this is January 2309. The crew found a flock of dead creatures around the entrance to the mine today. They seem diseased or starved, but we don't know why they came to the mine. Uh, what have we got? Volatile gases update. This is in February. The volatile gases were previously uh, that were previously requiring special protective gear have plummeted below critical levels for the fourth straight week, as is the trend with mines after the first year of operation. Okay, security. Mine H363 sent for security day today when one of the local predators arrived to feast on the collection of dead carcasses nearby. We started to burn their corpses in the hopes it will go away. So the predators were attracted by the dead creatures which were coming to the mine because the gas was escaping? Is that right? Welcome, Irvin Madani. 30th of May, 2309. Hephaestus has hired Irvin Madani to kill one of the main predators that hasn't left the area for weeks. He will assist Dr. Helgi Hawkson, who is studying the strange predator behavior. Okay. Predators are dead. Oh, a month later, predators are dead? So Irvin had basically died done his job? Irvin Madani was able to kill the largest of the predators. Currently, no wildlife is at the mine anymore. Unrelatedly, the volatile gases from the uh, extraction point are now fully depleted. This did not happen at the previous mines. Right. So that's good. Yeah? So why did they turn to pin a huge disaster on him? A few days later, first year. Year one is complete. We're now at full production. Site is expected to be fully depleted far ahead of the scheduled due to the removal, removed complication of volatile gases. Okay. Irvin's contract is over. Irvin's contract is over and no more predators or any wildlife have been found at the mine. It's a miracle. So they praised him as a miracle worker? Dr. Hawkson quit. August 2309. Helgi unexpectedly quit today, citing ethics violations on a planetary scale. Is it because they're cutting through that biological layer? Decommissioned. This is just the following month. Hephaestus ordered the immediate closure of this mine and all others in the area, even though we are at peak extraction and efficiency. Mine will be sealed in the standard fashion. All equipment unrelated to extraction is to be left behind. Mine H363 has been decommissioned. No way. And an admin. Hack the advanced lock? Yes, please. Right, uh, again, any... That's outer. 
Right, let's see. Is that any good to us? Uh, here maybe? Yeah, there we go. Uh, so that could pair with... That can't pair with anything, I don't think. Can it? Um, and... Yeah, there's nowhere else we could rotate this one to, so I think this particular key might be a red herring. Um, one at the top, two at the sides. No, that can't pair with anything. Right, so we'll discount that one. It looks like we're working with these four keys. Five keys, sorry. Um, that could work. That could work if we have two, one, one, one. Uh... Mm, oh, wait, hold on. That plus... No, that doesn't work. Maybe. Oh. Uh, oh, crap. Was it that one? That, that, and then a single one down at the bottom. That doesn't work either. <laughs> okay. Uh, right, what about this? That could be deployed there. Uh, oh, along with that. Yeah, that works. And that one. And that one. Uh, oh, yeah, that one was a red herring, wasn't it? Let's go with maybe that. Oh, here we go. That and... That. Lovely. Right, what's in admin? Helgi's research station. Account status deactivated. Unlock research terminal. Oh, I've unlocked another terminal in the cave laboratories? Irvin Madani's research station. Unlock. Oh, All right. wonderful. Now let's go find Irvin and Helgi's lab stations. Yeah, that is... Oh, that's the comms building. Oh, this is the comms room? Interesting. Oh, I wonder if we might get sort of transmissions from the uh, Hephaestus bosses about what's going on. Let's see. Anything else here before we go rifling through messages? No, I don't think there is. Let's hack into this safe a moment. Only a novice pick, so this should be straightforward. He says, before almost inevitably screwing up another lock. Uh, that's not going to work because we don't have anything compatible with that so this oh could work there maybe uh no it does not maybe that oh that could work with that one yep That paired with that works nicely. What have we got? Some credits. Okay, not fantastic. Okay, what communications do we have? Foreman's log. Okay, so this is the site foreman. Right, interesting. Foreman's log one. We're still recovering from the collapse. The full death toll is unknown at the moment, but currently there are 13 confirmed dead. So that's what we've read about on that data slate. I'll be consulting with the head geologist about how best to move forward from this unfortunate incident. Foreman's log two. While drilling, we seem to have stumbled upon a nest of some sort. We aren't certain of the species of the creature it belonged to, but it seems to be deserted now. We'll continue drilling once we know for certain that the nest has been abandoned. Ooh. I wonder if that's in any way similar to the nest that I stumbled across in that mine that I wasn't even supposed to be in on, uh, oh, was it Piazzi, Piazzi one, was it? Okay, let's see if we can't find this, uh, oh, of course there's a hole upstairs to explore, isn't there? If we can't find this other location, these cave labs. There's some doors. Oh, hello. <gasps> oh, it's just like the Argos Extractors elevator. Have a little sniff around here. So that presumably, oh, that's outside. I don't want to be outside horrible out there. Terrible weather for it. Okay. So let's head down into the mines, into the caverns. Oh no, and into, <laughs> into the creature's nest. Wonderful. Uh, 
Oh, there you are. Right. Hop on, Barrett. <laughs> not coming? Oh, Barrett. Nope, not interested. See you down there. Okay. Nothing else here, was there? No. Barrett, are you all right? I know this is a lot. I know it's an emotional occasion for you. But, uh, pull yourself together, eh? As your captain and confidant. Ooh. What's... What's down here? I think I can hear an alarm going off in the distance. Ooh, books! Learned Astronomer and Dover Beach. We've got both of those. Lights are on down here at least. That's good. Uh-oh, this isn't... Ah, uh, no, that's not working for me. <laughs> Where's my shotgun? There we go. Extracting decent specimens is delicate work. Indeed it is. We've got a noisy one here, fly me. Uh... Let's just hop back up here. Just want to make sure to uh, explore all this before I move on, because I don't know if I'm going to be coming back through the same way. What? Hello. Oh, there's a, <laughs> there was a staircase anyway. Never mind. Right, no data slates that I'm missing. Yeah, looks like we're all good. There's a room over here as well. Could this be one of the... Uh, one of the labs? Oh, there's a computer terminal in there. What have we got? Magazine, combat tech catalogue. Slightly increases the range and accuracy of combat tech weapons. I've still not really got my head around the, uh, the different manufacturers, so I don't know sort of which what is what, to be honest with you. Oh, we've got a data slate here. And weapons. Oh, a lawgiver. I think this must have been Irvin's office. Okay, let's uh, get the supervisor's place explored first then. E oh no, this is Irvin's. So why were the weapons next door? <laughs> That's slightly confusing. Do you, do you really have to, Barrett? I mean, yes, by all means, jump for joy because we're actually making some, some solid progress, but... Uh, have some decorum. Oh, this is just a general computer. Threads. Let's see. Foreman's journal. So far, yield has been stellar. The veins we're tapping continue to produce impressive quantities of nickel and aluminum as well as other ores. What's better is that the well shows no signs of drying up. Yield has only increased the deeper we dig. And yet they shuttered it. Head geologist log. I've spoken with Foreman Shulman regarding the unfortunate collapse that occurred. He was recommending that we evacuate the rest of the mine in case of a total cave-in. To assuage his fears, I scanned the surrounding areas of the mine in, in an effort to provide uh, to prove its stability. What I found was quite encouraging. Continued drilling should pose no danger of a collapse. Although the veins we've been mining for some time are currently trapped behind the collapsed area, I believe that there's a solution. We can dig around the collapse and circle our way back to those veins. I'm confident this course of action will be satisfactory for Mr. Shulman. Um, need I point out that your plan is basically to mine around those ore veins, which is essentially mining around the graves of 13 people that died in the collapse? I mean, not to put too morbid a point on it. Oh, hold on, was there? Nope, I thought there was a data slate. File. Okay. I'll take a mystery vial, that's no problem. Okay, Irving's machine. Let's see what we got here. Irvin Madani, visiting expert in xenobiology, account deactivated. Archived memos. Right, experiment results. Irvin, they're not going to like what I have to say. Helgi Hawkson. Ooh, apex predators. Wait, what was the date on this one? 9181. Oh, so it goes the other way. So the first one was sent poisoned planet. Dr. Hawkson, the data tells a troubling story. Could the micro a microbial colony network be poisoned by the chemicals from these mines? Could this cause a global collapse? So I'm guessing the microbial colony network might have been that biological layer that's covering the planet. So they 
their mining was potentially killing the skin of the planet? Apex Predators. Irvin, I've included your analysis in my papers, which I sent to the main office. Thank you for helping me collect and analyze the data. I sincerely hope this makes a difference. And any experiment results, they're not going to like what I have to say. Oh, so... It was the destruction of the bacterial colonies, not the Apex Predators. So, they ruined the ecosystem here. And it had nothing to do with Irvin. Mm -hmm. This is it. This is what Ellie needs to see. Well... Let's just explore the rest of it while we're here. Um, the uh, the supervisor's terminal is around here somewhere. We just need to try and track the thing down. Um, let's head into the cave because this was his terminal was listed as being at the cave laboratory, but his supervisor's was. Wait, hold on. Here, maybe. Oh, this is what was at the bottom of the stairs. Let's see. Deep Recon Space Helmet. Not so bothered about that. Ooh. An ominous red room. And grenades. Lovely little makeshift armory by the looks of it. Oh, no. A corpse with penicillin. Well, they don't need it now. Who was that? I wonder if that was the... Uh, the other name that we've been seeing, maybe. Let's see, any slates? None to be found. Oh, this is locked. Right, uh, expert lock again. That's just the outer layer. No, oh, does this give us anything at all? Yeah, it does. It unlocks that. One, two, three, and one. That could pair with that one yeah for the outer ring and let's take a little look at the next ring in uh, there could work um, ba -ba 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 -ba. could we pair that with this maybe no that doesn't work how many one Two, three, four. No. Yes. That pairs with that. Okay, I think I'm going to go for it. Um, and probably live to regret it. But screw it. Was it that? Oh, what was it now that actually... Hold on, did I line up two for the outside ring? Oh, I'm getting worse and worse at these. This isn't good. New. And then a couple of these singles will do. Sweet. Do we have a terminal in here? Please tell me we've got a terminal in here. We don't have a terminal in here. Man. So it looks like we're probably going to have to press a little bit deeper in. What the hell's that? Okay. Is that... is that an egg? For one of these creatures? No wonder they're peed off. Right, Barrett, we're going to have to press a little bit deeper into the cavern system, I think. Oh, hello! Whoa! You snuck up on me, little worm. That's where we've been. And this is where we're going. Oh, I do not like the look of this. We're going to be pressing deeper into the mine next time, guys. But in the meantime, thank you very much for joining me. If you'd like to leave a like or you care to leave a comment, pop those down below. I'd um, I'd really appreciate to uh, to what hear what that? you... You don't want to know. Cover your eyes, Barrett. It's scary. Um, but uh, yeah, we, we are getting mighty close to clearing Irvin's name here, I think. I just want to find her, his supervisor's terminal. See if we can pick up a little bit more information and then head back to see Ellie. But uh, until next time, take care of yourselves. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.